Have you ever wondered what causes those massive destructive waves known as tsunamis? The science behind these ocean giants is as fascinating as it is powerful. Tsunamis, colossal waves triggered by natural events like earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and even asteroid impacts, are a fascinating yet destructive force of nature. Did you know about the array of natural phenomena and events that can set off the formation of tsunamis and the science behind their occurrence? A tsunami is a vast, long chain of waves that happens when the ground under the ocean shakes a lot, like during a big earthquake. These waves don't just stay put, they spread out from where the shaking started and can even travel across the ocean. What makes tsunamis unique is that they go through the entire ocean from bottom to top. Regular waves at the beach are like ripples at the surface, but tsunamis are like big underwater waves that go deep. It's like a supersized water roller coaster. Tsunamis mostly happen because of big earthquakes where tectonic plates come together. Imagine these plates as giant puzzle pieces in the Earth's crust. When they bump into each other or move apart, it can shake things up under the ocean and create tsunamis. But here's the exciting part. Tsunamis can also be caused by other things, like big chunks of land falling into the ocean, volcanoes erupting, certain weather conditions, or even something from space like an asteroid or comet crashing into or exploding above the sea. So there are different ways these giant waves can happen. What factors influence the size and strength of tsunamis generated by underwater earthquakes, volcanic collapses, and landslides? When we hear the word tsunami, it instantly conjures up images of incredibly destructive waves. Underwater earthquakes trigger the tsunamis we often talk about. These waves are extraordinary, racing through, towering tens of meters high when they crash onto land. Imagine the speed of a tsunami, which can reach up to 250 miles per hour, is faster than the top speed of many sports cars. With its ability to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in seconds, a tsunami can cover four times that distance in just one hour, illustrating these immense waves' sheer power and destructive force. They can unleash massive floods and cause swift and extensive destruction along coastlines, as tragically witnessed in Southeast Asia in 2004 and Japan in 2011. Earthquakes don't always cause tsunamis. Other events can also trigger them. For instance, in 2018, a part of the Anak Krakatoa volcano in Indonesia collapsed, resulting in a tsunami that claimed over 400 lives. These powerful waves can also arise from massive landslides that dump tons of debris into the ocean. Naturally, scientists are eager to understand how and to what extent they can predict the characteristics of tsunamis in different situations. Many models explaining tsunamis from landslides suggest that the size and strength of a tsunami depend on how thick or deep the landslide is and how fast its front hits the water. In a research paper titled Nonlinear Regimes of Tsunami Waves Generated by Granular Collapse, published online in the Journal of Fluid Mechanics, Albon Sare, a mechanical engineer from Santa Barbara, along with his colleagues Vladimir Sarlin, Cyprian Maurice, and Philippe Gondre from the Fluids Automation and Thermal Systems Laboratory at the University of Paris-Saclay and the French National Center for Scientific Research, shed new light on this topic. Why tsunamis travel rapidly across the ocean and how scientists estimate when they will reach distant locations. Think of a tsunami as a giant ripple in the ocean caused by something like an underwater earthquake or volcano. Imagine tossing a big stone into a calm pond and seeing those ripples spread out in all directions. Tsunami waves work like that. Now what makes these waves more super fast is how deep the ocean is. On average, the sea is about 13,000 feet or 4,000 meters deep. When you multiply this depth by the force of gravity and take the square root, don't worry about the math, you get an average speed of about 440 miles per hour or 700 kilometers per hour. That's way faster than regular ocean waves, which go at a snail's pace.
So scientists use this formula to determine when a tsunami will reach far-off places. For example, a tsunami that started in Tonga took 12 hours and 12 minutes to reach Santa Cruz, California, 5,280 miles away from Tonga. The tsunami raced across the ocean at about 433 miles per hour, close to the speed we calculated using the ocean's average depth. It's like a super speedy ripple that can travel long distances. Tsunamis born from the Earth's restless movements and other extraordinary events remind us of nature's unpredictable power. Understanding their science is intriguing and essential for mitigating their devastating impacts on coastal communities. If you found this exploration of tsunami science informative, please share it with others who might be interested. Stay curious, stay informed, and subscribe for more captivating insights into the world around us.